Hey, it's Jeff with YourLearningCareer.com. I'm really excited today because they just released the brand new version of iSpring Suite, iSpring Suite 11. And so today I'm going to talk to you about it, about the new features, and then I'm also just gonna kind of give you a general overview of the program. One thing I should mention before I get started is that this video is being sponsored by iSpring. Now I've been an iSpring user for many, many years now. Uh, I've actually used it on the job. So I'm gonna give you a very real world perspective about the program and what it can do. So the first thing I'll do is for those of you who already have iSpring Suite or you're familiar with it, I'm gonna go over the new stuff. What's new in iSpring Suite 11, I wanna cover that. And then for those of you who are new to iSpring Suite, I'm going to provide you with kind of an overview of the program. I'm going to show you some of the features and functionality to help you decide if it's something that you want to get more familiar with. And by the way, if you do decide that it is something you want to check out, I'm going to put a link in my description. Um, and oh, by the way, they give a 14 day free trial. So it's a really great way to try it out. Um, but yeah, like I said, I will put a link in my description in the description below. So um, use that link. Here I am in PowerPoint and I am in the iSpring Suite 11 tab. For those of you who don't know, iSpring Suite is uh, par part of the suite is an add on to PowerPoint. Uh, and so that's where I am right now. I'm in this iSpring Suite 11 tab. This is where I would start to build out my e-learning course. Now, the first new item is in the interface here at the top. So they, they've simplified it. They've made it cleaner. They've made it more user-friendly. So that's a really nice change right there. Now, let me get into some of the bigger changes. One of the main new features within iSpring Suite 11 is with the abilities you have now to customize the player. Now, for those of you who have used iSpring Suite before, yes, we've, we have that ability in the, current, in the old version. We could make customizations, right? But they've really taken it to another level. So you have even more that you can customize within the player. So the first thing I want to point out here is the theme gallery. There are some preset themes that you can use. And then if you look here, this is this should look fairly new to you, or it should look new to you. Um, that's the color scheme. You see how the color scheme is set up now? Um, so there's these uh, different preset color schemes, which are great. You know, that might be one way to go. Where it gets really fun is when you go to this plus sign, create a custom scheme. When I click on that, you'll see I can make a customized color scheme. I can give it a name, I can save it, and I have lots more options for customization. And the reason I think this is a really great addition is because, especially if you're trying to do particular branding, you know, for your company, you just get so many more options now. So let me just show you here for button fill. If I click on the color, certainly I can go in and I can change the color of the button. You've got RGB that you can do. You have hex code. I can have the um, eyedropper tool so I can get the exact color I want. But then on top of that, I also now have transparency options. So I can make it, you know, I can give it a little transparency if I want. And then another addition, gradients. If I want, I can do a vertical or a horizontal gradient. So again, it just lets me fine tune the colors even more than I was able to before. Some other customization options, you'll see this corner radius. Notice the next button, it's sort of rounded because, or it is rounded because it's up to 20. But if I wanted it to be more boxy, I could put it down to zero. Now you see how it's a rectangle. Um, maybe I put it somewhere in the middle. Um, but anyway, that's what that is. Of course, you have fonts. You can uh, change the font of the player. And then of course, there is the layout. So you have different layouts that you can choose. But again, if I want to, I can go in and customize the layout. 
So I've got several options here. I can add or remove elements of the player. And then another new item that I wanted to point out is here, playback speed. So notice this one times, if uh, this is new to be able to add playback speed. So this enables the learner to increase the speed, the playback speed of the slide. So if I wanna add that capability, I can do that now as well. So now I'm back here. Let's look at some of the other new stuff. Oh, by the way, speaking of players, so the other players that got enhancements are with the quiz, the interactions, and the role plays. Um, now it's not the exact same options that you get with this player, but you do now have more options because these these are um, these have their own players. So you do have some more customization options. Another new feature that I was really excited about is right here on this very first slide. And that would be the illustrated characters. So if you have iSpring Suite Max, then you have access to a content library. And something that's a new addition to the content library are these uh, illustrated characters. So you get quite a few, here they are. And if I click on one, you can see they have different poses and different expressions. So I thought that was a really cool addition. You know, you can add some different um, fun styles into your courses. And then to go along with the characters, there are also some new backgrounds. So you could use one of these backgrounds along with your illustrated character. So that's really nice. So those were a few of the new features that I wanted to highlight with iSpring Suite 11. And now what I'd like to do is take a step back for those of you who are newer to iSpring Suite and show you some of the overall features and functionality of the program. One of the first things I always like to point out about iSpring Suite is how easy it is to jump in and start creating courses. And that's because as you've already seen, it's integrated into PowerPoint. So if you're familiar with PowerPoint, you know, anything you can do in PowerPoint, you can put into your course that you build with iSpring Suite. And then what I really love too, is that not only do you get this PowerPoint feature, but then if you look and see what all is included with iSpring Suite, you get all these other programs, these standalone programs that you can use, including an audio video editor, Cam Pro, Flip, Quizmaker, Talkmaster, and Visuals. And I'm gonna show you some of these here. So the first one I wanna look at is Role Play, and I already have one that I built here, so I'm gonna click on Role Play up here. And that's going to open up the iSpring Talk Master. This is where you can create or edit a new role play or branching scenario. They make it really easy to create that. Um, I've got a really simple example here because I just wanted to kind of show you what it looked like. But basically you pick a character, you get a selection of characters, you get a selection of backgrounds, and then you just fill in the text and you can, um, whatever they pick, you'll get a reaction. And of course this could continue. I only did the, the couple of options, but you can see, you know, you can branch, you know, from, from here, you could have a whole scenario or a whole role play and give the learner some practice. So I can branch from either one of these and really, you know, tell a story. So this is really cool. And you'll notice for like right now, my option is to save and return to course. So if I do that, you know, that's, that's fine. That's going to take me back here. But when I, um, if I launch talk master on its own, then it will actually give me a publish option. So you don't have to use talk master inside iSpring suite 11 here in the PowerPoint, you could make this a standalone thing. So if you just wanted to put a role play out on your learning management system, you could do that. So that's very cool. Um, and in fact, that's the same with each one of these that I'm about to show you. So the other one I wanted to show you is Quizmaker. Again, I already built this and I'm gonna click on quiz to open this up. 
Something that a lot of us want to be able to do when we build a course is to build in some sort of knowledge check. So this quiz maker makes it really easy to create a measurable quiz or test. You have multiple uh, question types. You can also, you know, add audio, video, pictures, etc. Here's the slide view. I mean, I kept this one really simple, just a multiple choice. And then this is form view where you can indicate what the right answer is. You can associate points. The next program, it's called iSpring Visuals. Here on the iSpring Suite 11 tab, it's called Interaction. So here's an interaction that I created. I'm going to click this in order to edit it. And this is just a simple accordion interaction. If I preview, you can see what it looks like. It's just a, you know, just one of these kind of easy reveal and then click to bring it back. If I click new, I'll just show you real quick. So these are some of the interaction types. So again, you can build lots of different um, interactions into your course. And then the last one I wanted to show you real quick is screen recording. This is a great little feature because I know um, oftentimes I want to do some kind of like maybe a website demo or a software demo and this screen recording makes it really easy. That's going to open up iSpring Cam Pro and this is something that I recorded previously. But anyway, you can um, with iSpring cam pro you can do your screen recording you can record it you can narrate it and then in here you can edit it not only edit but you can also add shapes add you can add annotation uh, so there's a lot you can do to enhance your screen recording here all right so one more thing i want to show you before i go and that is the pricing you know if you do decide this is something you want to get um, of course, you want to know how much is it going to cost. So I'm starting here with the business pricing. You can see iSpring Suite Max is 970. It's only $200 more than just regular iSpring Suite. And you get quite a bit more functionality. You get the text to speech. You get the big content library that I mentioned. Then there's also something called iSpring Space which is an online collaboration tool. It's a place where you can host your courses. It's a place where you can have other people review your courses, uh, but that is a very cool feature as well. Uh, now, I wanna show you these other pricing levels. So if you're a freelancer, check it out. You get a really nice discount there. Goes down to 690 for max, 490 for the suite um, by itself. And then same with academic, you also get a very nice discount. I hope you're as excited as I am about the brand new iSpring Suite 11. Once again, I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can go out, get that 14 day free trial, or if you want to buy it, you can do that too. Uh, and then I'm also going to include some links to my other videos about iSpring Suite so you can continue to learn more if you would like to do that. As always, I thank you for watching and we will see you next time.